Do you need to create social media images for work, school, or for your personal life? We'll show you how to use Canva, an online graphic design tool, to quickly create eye-catching images for your social media posts. Let's begin by going to canva.com. First, you'll need to create a free account. You have the option to sign up with your Google or Facebook account, or set up an account using your email address. I'll go ahead and sign up with my Google account. A window may appear asking you to sign up for a paid Canva account, but you can skip this and close the window by clicking here. Canva gives you many options for creating designs. At my son's school, we have a bake sale coming up and I'd like to promote it on Facebook, so let's choose Facebook post. A box may appear with instructions. Feel free to read it or click the X to close it. You can scroll through the templates or use the search bar to help narrow down your choices. Since we'll be selling cupcakes at the bake sale, let's type in cupcakes and see what we come up with. Think about which template would make your audience stop scrolling through Facebook to look at your post. I'm searching for one that will appeal to kids and families. Then just click the template to begin. Now that we've found a great template, let's make a few changes to customize it. Since Canva's templates are already attractive and easy to read, we won't change much. I notice that this one has a Canva watermark, which means it's a paid photo. I bet we can find a free one to replace it. Let's select this photo and click the trash icon at the top of the page to remove it. At this point, you could choose to upload your own photo. This is great if you have a business and want to showcase your products or location. Or you can click Photos to select one of Canva's free stock images. Let's type cupcakes in the search bar to look for a photo that will work for us. Most of these options are free, but you'll notice that some of them are paid. These pink cupcakes look like a good option. You can resize the photo by dragging the corner or side handles. Depending on how you size it, it might also crop the image to fit. You can make further adjustments by clicking Crop on the menu and move the image around in the frame. Then click Done. I notice that the photo is now in front of the white rectangle. I'd like to move it behind. We can fix that by going up to Position on the menu bar. Clicking backward will move the photo behind the white rectangle. This is looking good. Now it's time to change the text. Let's change the title first. We'll just highlight the text and type some new text. Hmm, elementary doesn't quite fit. Now we could drag this handle to make the text box wider, but that's going to decrease the amount of margin around the text and make the design less appealing. I would actually recommend that you keep the text boxes where they are and adjust the font size until the text fits. In the menu bar, you can choose from the preset options or feel free to type in any value. Let's try 45. That fits much better. We'll go ahead and change the text above and below the title. I want to let people know who's hosting the sale and why we're raising money. We want to keep this pretty short while still giving people enough information. I also want to let people know when the bake sale is. We've got a bit of space below this text, so let's add it there. After this, we won't add any more text since many people will be reading this on their phones, and we want to make sure it will be easy to read. At this point, take a minute to look at it to make sure that everything looks correct and that it's easy to read. If you can, have someone else check it too. When you're happy with your project, you can either publish it directly to the social media platform, or you can download it. I'm going to download it, and then I can post it to Facebook later. Next, you can choose your preferred file type. A ping file works for us, so we'll click download again. Also, be aware that Canva may try again to get you to sign up for a paid account. You can click continue editing to return to your design. Later on, if you'd like to edit your design or use it as a template to create a new one, 
you can find it by clicking All Your Designs. Now that you know how to create a social media image in Canva, you're ready to start on your own project. We encourage you to check out the homepage and experiment with creating different types of images. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.